it's amazing. And what I love also is that he's a 99 year old war vet. You know, he's been, you know, he's been around a long time, knows, knows everything. And it's wonderful that everyone kind of is being inspired by his story and his determination. So, you know, I think he's a, he's a one man fundraising machine. And God knows what the final total will be, but good on him. I hope he keeps going. Staying connected, staying um, positive, and being able to talk to friends and family is, is so crucial. All over the country, people are staying at home to protect the NHS and save lives. It's not always easy. We can feel frustrated, miss loved ones, or get anxious. So now, more than ever, every mind matters. And having just some tips and some, some ideas as to how to tackle some of this um, strange feelings and, and, and difficult circumstances that we're finding ourselves in is really, really important, just to, just to nudge us through these next few weeks. Showing you simple steps to help deal with stress, boost your mood, and feel on top of things. I think the scale and the speed of what's going on in hospitals, bear in mind also the isolation. A lot of these patients are, are sadly dying with no family members around them. I think for, for the NHS frontline workers, that is, that is very difficult. And I think it's going to dramatically change how we all value and see our frontline workers. Um, and I think that is one of the, the main positives, really, I suppose, that you can take from, from this. They do an extraordinary job. It goes unrecognised daily. And, and, and now I think all of us um, as a nation can really see how hard they work and how vital their work is.